This is Inelia Benz for Ascension101.com. Gosh, where to begin? <laughs> I want to talk to you about an event, the only event I'm going to be doing myself in uh, 2013, a retreat for two days. And I want to tell you how it came about because it's really important, I think, to understand how it developed yeah, from the beginning. There, in the past few months and years, people have said, you know, I'd like to um, organize an event or we're inviting you to our event or retreat. And um, what would you like to have there? And I kept saying, I'd like a silent retreat, please. <laughs> what happened was that all these events would happen, but there would be like a speaker. And it was right, because for all this time, I've been asked to be a, um, a very... A verbal and visual delivery system for the message of empowerment. So that was the right type of event to do. But this year I was looking at doing an event and I kept thinking I just want to be in silence. I just want to be in silence because if I could just sit with somebody and I was talking to my friend Lucia Rene and I was saying to her you know, if I could just sit with somebody in quietness, in, soli in, in silence, and maybe in meditation, I know that whatever questions they had would come to them, you know, be downloaded directly into them, uh, like a silent Q&A, yeah? And she laughed and she told me about the spiritual teacher from, um, from before who used to hold events where he would sit up the front and go into his um, state of meditation, higher self, enlightenment state, or I don't know what they call them, I haven't been to one of those. But, um, so people would come from the audience and sit with him in his field, and they would ask the question out loud, and they would just sit in silence, and sure enough, the person would have their question answered directly, you know, they would get the answer directly, and then they would get up and go back to their seat. And I thought, yeah, that's nearly right, that's nearly right, but it's all paradigm, you know, it's like still a one person doing it for another, still a projection there of authority and not being able to do it themselves, the, the audience, right? So anyway, I thought, well, the perfect one, the perfect thing would be if you could imagine, like, if I hold that field people do get downloads and the times that I have meditated with people they they do comment on things like that you know it was so easy I could really go into that state of um, bliss really quickly and uh, all sorts of things and I thought well what if we had 20 people going into that field together as one not just in Elia Benz but 20 people united together as equals going into that field and then if one person wanted to ask a question, they could enter the field, ask the question and sit in silence, receive the answer, wham, you know. <laughs> imagine 30 people, imagine 2,000 people. And I got really, really excited. I thought, I've got to do this. I've got to do this as soon as possible. And it's so simple. All we have to do is arrange to be together in one place, location in time space, yeah? And just have that intention of having that field, you know, and it would be so easy, so easy to do, and I think it would be so powerful, because it wouldn't be like Inelia Benz gives you the answer, or Inelia Benz says field, you enter it and stuff, it would be us, all of us, becoming one, yeah, becoming one entity, oneness, source energy, one collective entity, really, yeah, I don't know, I'm really excited about it. I want to do it before the end of the year. So, um, and then I was starting to talking to my other friend, Veronica Lee, and she was saying, you know, really we need to give people um, like a month or a month and a half or two months at least to be able to organize themselves to be able to attend a retreat. So she suggested a location in downtown Sacramento it's called, it's an urban sanctuary and it's called Ancient Futures. I went to visit it and I thought, oh my gosh, it's perfect. It can sit 70 people. Originally, I thought 200 to have the first one of these events with 200 people. 
But this location is so perfect <laughs> that I think, well, 70 will do. And I don't care if five turn up, you know? I have paid for the location, it's all paid for, we don't have to worry about a thing. So I know that the amount of individuals, that's the perfect amount of individuals, and all the individuals that have been um, summoned by Source to be there are going to be there. There's no way that I'm not going to do this. It's absolutely going to happen. So I've booked the place and um, I'm, I've got the, you know, like the booking for the page as well. It's up here in, in the Ascension 101 site and their events. And one of the things that uh, Veronica was mentioning was the, the idea of sponsorship. And I remember for our last event, one of the last retreats that I attended, there was a sponsorship program where people can actually pay for another person's ticket. So I thought, well, why don't we do that? You know, it's like we can, we're going to have the options for people to send in any amount they want to uh, facilitate another person coming. And then the person who's coming who can't afford the full ticket can then um, bring whatever or send as much as they can, right? Or, or say, this is how much I, I have. And then as soon as the kitty gets full enough to pay for his or her ticket, then they get it, yeah? So we're going to have a waiting list of uh, first come ser first served for that option. So be generous and sponsor others. Buy your ticket. Buy somebody else's ticket. We're going to do this. It's going to be oh gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> it's going to be absolutely awesome. So I hope I see you there. I'm expecting you to be there. I'm so looking forward and honored that you will be there. Until November, oh, it's November 16th and 17th of 2013. See you there.